Hello and welcome to Easy Like a Sunday Morning. I'm your host, GJ Liberator X, and today is May the 11th, 2014. Where has the year gone? Today I have a group assignment that's due, however you don't need to know about that. I'm going to be in a mad panic later tonight. <laughs> however, I just want to say thank you to everybody that's tuned in so far and continues to listen and leave comments and quote the code word and the the funny thing was when uh, because of the the rough nature of like last week's show it was unproduced it was live so it was rambling it was I was jumping all over the place I got an email from the guy that had passed along my the podcast this podcast to uh, the people at the nerdist and he passed it along to this woman who was handling shows and stuff. I think what happens is they get a whole heap of submissions and stuff, and they have to weed through them and find out which is suitable for their network and and so on and so forth. But what had happened was he'd moved on from the position that he'd had when uh, the material was brought to his attention. So he... um, mm -mm, basically listening to the show and I'd suggested that maybe that the offer wasn't a legit one and, and stuff like that because I've, I've been burnt before in the past. I think we've all been burnt before in the past. Uh, people making all sorts of promises and things like that. And uh, I'm one of these people, I'm very much a wait and see what happens kind of guy. So... He sent me an email and he listened to the podcast all the way through. And I want to apologise if I uh, was getting putting across the idea that these people weren't legit. These people were fairly high up within their respective companies, but he'd moved on. But he still had uh, you know connections within the company. You know, so it's still a matter of like wait and see to see what happens. Um, but yeah. And I think what they're, what they're really listening for is my voice. My, yeah, my voice. Not necessarily the uh, production values. I think if I was working with a, a team of people who had actually been qualified in radio, I'd be doing a lot better. Uh, the shows would be a lot better and, and such like that. Anyway, the other thing that uh, came to my attention was that my uncle wanted me to say something a little bit more political because he, he was saying that oh, why not have a little bit of truth in advertising you've got a uh, you know your channel name or well, your DJ name is Liberator X why aren't you liberating people and, and getting you know being real controversial controversial and stuff like that but this show is easy like a Sunday morn so this is about relaxing but not just relaxing um this is about maybe taking stock of the week, what you've learnt through the week, slowing down a bit, not relaxing so much, but slowing down. Um, if you're having breakfast, savouring your breakfast, you know, the, the, the warmth of the toast, you know, the, the taste of it, the butter, the hot melted butter, any other, you know, condiments that you'd prefer to have on your toast if you're having toast maybe you're having bacon and eggs or maybe you're a vegetarian or vegan and you have special dietary requirements whatever your breakfast happens to be you should be enjoying it and slow down and just taste the food enjoy the food and this program is about slowing down your mind a little bit not so much racing around and whatever one of the things that uh, I chose to do fairly early on with my YouTube career, if you can call it a career, um, I suppose I got paid once, so I suppose it is a career, um, or at least a job. One of the th- th- things that I chose to do fairly early on was to not cash in on fear or anger. Now, that might seem a bit weird, but 
if you are aware of it, fear and anger are what drives most of the memes or ideas or you know these pictures that have the text on memes, right? A lot of that is just driven by fear. Okay. The other part of it is that it's designed to make you angry, right? And if you if there's fear or angry or anger, then you're not thinking critically. You're not thinking logically, right? So you go, oh, this pisses me off. So I'll, so you click like and you click share. And this stuff gets spread throughout Facebook, and nobody's applying critical analysis to any of it. And most of it, I'd say like 95% of it, right, is absolute nonsense, you know. And you have to question some of this stuff. But that's where, if I was to do stuff like that, if I was to talk about stuff like that, then what happens is it becomes political. And if you want a political debate show, I could probably set one up to do that, but this is about easy like a Sunday morning. I've just rambled for about six minutes. I have no idea how I did that. Um, but uh, this week, Godzilla 2014, I'm really looking forward to seeing it. I don't know whether I can afford to actually go see it because um, I'm running short of money because I had to pay lots of bills this pay that always happens I'd, I'd put some stuff off um, because I am not used to not a lower income level after the dramas of several months ago but I'm getting the swing of things getting back into the swing of things and uh, just readjusting my budgets and things like that and uh, also if you on the idea of uh, liberating people if you make if you go to the post office when you pay your bills what you do is you get your bill you say I'd like to pay my bill pay your bill and then you take the bill back you do don't throw the bill away right what you do is the next time you get paid you go into the post office and you say and you have to quote me directly I'd like to put X amount of money into the account, please. And they'll, they'll do it for you, right? So what you do is every time you get paid, you go in and you pay, say, 20 or $30 towards that bill, right? So that by the time you get the next bill, right, most of that bill is paid off. So you're not stung with this multi-hundred dollar bill, right? And now it can eat into your budget on a pay-by-pay -pay, uh, basis, but you'll always be in front. You know, you can do that with your rent as well. You can chip in, you know, like a few, a few more dollars here and there, like every week, and uh, you'll always be ahead, you know. And it's good to do this in case of emergencies. If you lose your job, you can be in big, big trouble, especially if you live in America. You can be, if you don't have family to support you, you're in big, big trouble. Um, I don't really want to talk about my family issues because I could be here forever. And this is about relaxing and stuff like that. So I'll throw in that piece of liberation if you want to, just to keep the uncle happy, you know. A fan, oh, okay, Godzilla. Um, I'm really, really looking to this, forward to this film because it is in 3D and stuff like that. It'll be the first 3D Godzilla film. The acting looks incredible. And I, I've learnt a lot about the plot of the movie through li watching like little bits and pieces of trailers and here, interviews with the director and the writer and, and stuff like that. Um, another little bit of liberation here um, mm -mm -mm. there's a there was a myth going around and it was repeated by the writer of the new Godzilla movie that the name Gojira the original Japanese name for Godzilla was from the Japanese word for gorilla and 
the Japanese word for whale and they've been combined and there's absolutely no truth to it whatsoever because what well, basically that's what to the Toho, the company that formed Godzilla um, had thought so but when you ask the guy who invented the creature if you ask his wife because this guy's like long since but like had passed away and stuff but if you ask his wife, his wife was saying, no, 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 he spent forever trying to come up with a name and it doesn't mean anything. The name has no meaning whatsoever. So the the, 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 uh, the gorilla whale uh, naming thing is actually a myth and you'll hear it like bandied about, but there's no truth to it. So another piece of liberation there. Brian Cranston... Uh, is a fantastic actor of oh, the plot I won't go into the plot on here um, I'll probably do that on my the Shane Lockwood channel and I've already got one Godzilla video up when I'm talking about my hopes for the, the movie the the plot I can pretty much spoil the whole thing um, but yeah I'm really looking forward to it there's a trailer called Let Them Fight, and it explains that it's going to be just basically epic. It's just going to be a big monster fight, monsters fighting each other all over the place. Uh, it's just going to be so fantastic. Um, another video that came up to, m to my attention was from a fellow YouTuber by the name of Couch Potato Theatre. And I mentioned him last week. He did a video called Split Pea Coffee. Yeah, Split Pea Coffee Shop. And um, you've got to see the video. You just go into Google and or at least YouTube. Go to YouTube and type in Split Pea Coffee Shop. And uh, that's absolutely hilarious. What was happening was there was a guy... On, on YouTube and Facebook and stuff who was going through our friends list right? and he was making lewd suggestions he'd, he'd friend all these females right? then making lewd suggestions about you know uh, could you film a video of yourself you know, like smearing peanut butter on your face and um other weird and wonderful substances and then he would say oh it's not sexual it's just you know for comedy purposes and and then this sort of stuff and then you find out that he was into like a really um interesting he was interest let's just say he was in, into that sort of uh, stuff at an adult for an ad, for adult reasons which i ain't really going to but that video the video that that i mentioned the split p coffee shop video is a send up of like every one of his suggestions that he was making to these girls and of course we had to coax it out of them so the silence regarding this sort of sick behavior has to stop ladies because we want to be able to do something about it we want to highlight what's going on warn our female friends and basically hopefully uh, either isolate the people that are doing it or make it stop you know it is abusive it is har sexual harassment and stuff like that we want it to stop but the video is absolutely hilarious and it it what it's what can be done when we break the science and raise awareness of certain issues also if you want to post a letter to me you can do so at po uh, you just write to DJ Liberator X or Shane Lockwood at P.O. Box 1067 Salisbury, that's S A L I S B U R Y space S, uh, capital S, capital A, 5108 Australia, and I'll read your letter on air. The last thing I got was from Katie, whoops, Pa, can we, yeah, um, and her, the link to her channel, YouTube channel would be down below. Thanks for that, Katie. 
Now I'm 15 minutes in and <coughs> I've lost, I've run out of uh, information. Um, I did have a lot of stuff that I was going to talk about, but what I might do is just pause it here for a little rest break and actually I might buy a little bit of sample from that split pea coffee shop I think and now a word from our sponsors and welcome to split pea coffee shop come on in take the shoes off make yourself comfortable the coffee's not free but the smiles are you'll be glad you came Again and again and again and again and again. We're doggies. <laughs> oh my god, it's the look, that is the funniest video I've ever seen. And I just keep laughing at, at it. I just keep watching it. It's the Split Pea Coffee Shop. Look it up on YouTube. It's on the uh, Couch Potato Theatre channel. So, and it's just absolutely fantastic. Um, yeah, and, um, wow, um, and I hope that Mike does do more videos like that, um, I think there's a sequel in, in the works, um, and Mike's a great guy, you should subscribe to his channel, uh, uh, excuse me, it's, um, a bit of a hard night last night, but uh, yeah, anyway, um, I hope everybody is having a great Sunday once again, um, maybe go outside and um, enjoy a bit of sunshine if, you, if you've if got sunshine where you are, the uh, weather here is actually quite nice, it's starting to cool off a little bit, so it's colder in the mornings and stuff, and I've noticed that... Um, uh, actually, a little trick that I do is um, when I finish having a shower, I'll come out to the kitchen and um, just turn the oven on, stand in front of the oven. It's cheaper than having an electric heater or, or anything like that. It, it'll boost your gas bill oh, or your heating bill. But, um, yeah, it's just, I've noticed that it's just becoming that, that time of year it's starting to cool down here in Adelaide South Australia um, I didn't mention that I got um, a bit of a, another shout out from another boring uh, Thursday night in Adelaide that's the name of a podcast it's called another boring night in Ad another boring Thursday night in Adelaide sorry I keep messing that up but uh, yeah they're great guys um, you can follow them on Twitter at boring Adelaide and uh, what they do is basically, um, if you say, oh, Adelaide's boring, they will actually reply to you and say, why do you think Adelaide is boring? Because they love the city of Adelaide. And what they are doing is just trying to get people to stop and think about their town. <laughs> And, you know, there is a perception that this place is boring, but it's not. There's plenty to see and do. You've just got to have a little bit more imagination. And there's a lot of stuff that's actually quite hidden. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that's not advertised. Um, other states have a lot more funding, and I think a bigger population base, so they can actually advertise everything, you know. Um, but we do have quite a fair bit. You've just got to look for it. Um, they're into drinking wine and they do reviews of that sort of stuff but that's not really my cup of tea as it were um, but um, yeah you get that what else is there um, oh yeah they took my recommendation um, and gave a visa pass to Jewel State Jewel, their visa pass is a thing where if you make a comment about Adelaide um, they review it and they either give you a pass or revoke your visa and um, Jewel State, if you don't know, she was in Firefly in the movie uh, Serenity and um, yeah I'm going to pause this again I think I might need a little bit of a break 
just to refresh and uh, I'll come back. Oh, hang on. Oh, hello. Looks like we've got a bit of a call here. Okay, so who is this? Oh, okay. Jerry Black again. Oh, okay. We'll let him in. What's he got to say for himself? Hello and welcome to the show. You're on the air. Do you like being us? Wow. No, we can't have that sort of stuff on the show, Go. Um, in fact, I think I'm going to have to ban you from the show, maybe. Um, that's two weeks in a row you've uh, put up nonsense. Actually, you went on last week, but that's beside the point. We can't have that sort of behaviour on on the podcast. You know, who knows who's listening? Kids are listening. Um, if you do want to... Um, Skype in a message or have a chat. Um, the uh, Skype address is the Shane Lockwood on Skype. Or you can send a soundbite or uh, just letting me know that you like listening to the show. The show is called Easy Like a Sunday Morn, and you just record yourself saying, Hi, my name is, state your name. And I listen to Easy Like a Sunday Morn. It's as easy as that. And I will probably use it at the beginning of the show, just as a bit of part of a, like an intro and stuff like that. Ah, oh dear. Yeah, um, but keep it clean, okay? Um, poor Jero. He uh, comes from Bulgaria. And, um, wow, they've got some... Let's just say they've got different um, social standards. Uh, not better, not worse. It's just different. Um, yeah, apparently, like you can say the N word over there, and the you know the uh, I suppose you'd call them um, the African population. Um, doesn't take offence to it, but if you call them black. They take offence to that, so it's very mixed up, I guess. Anyway, um, I've rambled on for quite a while. Um, let me know that you've listened to the show, and the way you can do that is by sending me a tweet on Twitter at, at S-H-A-I-D-O, that's Shido, at Twitter. Um... The, the um, with Twitter, for those of you that don't use Twitter, Twitter is basically like Facebook. However, what they've done is they've removed everything, like photos and, and whatever. What they do instead is you've got the status update. So you're saying, oh, hi, I've had, you know, you can say, hey, had breakfast, had bacon for breakfast or uh, baked beans or sausages or whatever you want whatever you want to talk about like your normal Facebook status update however Twitter is just that it's just the status update and nothing else now you can link to videos you can link to photos and other things as well but it's a lot faster and it's a lot cleaner you can see a lot more um, information very quickly and celebrities will send out like a tweet message Oh, that's the other thing. There's a limit of 140 characters with Twitter. So when they send out a tweet, like a celebrity, right? Say uh, Pink is a celebrity that I follow. Um, she might go, okay, oh, I've got a new album out. And that goes instantly out to all of her followers. You know, and so it's a great way of cutting out the middleman. You don't need to worry about um, promotion. Um, and things like that. The problem is that uh, you do have to look out for your public perception and stuff like that. As a celebrity, like myself, you have to worry about how the public perceives you and, um, you know, you could end up tweeting the wrong thing and next minute, you know, um, you know, records, record sales plummet and stuff like that. So you do have to be careful with that sort of thing. But I think you have to be careful with uh, all forms of um, social media if you're a celebrity. 
like myself. And um, they're the, the brakes, I guess. And uh, just remember, if you want to be a celebrity, do something worth celebrating, because it's what a celebrity is, really. And, by the way, I'm kidding. I'm not a celebrity at all. However, you can change that. You can change that by promoting the show, by uh, thumbing up the video, if you're watching this by YouTube, if you're listening by Spreaker, follow me, please. Um, click the little love heart button. If you're following this on the Stitcher app, then give it a thumbs up. Press the, press the plus button so you can add it to your playlist, uh, especially if you're into Adelaide podcasts, uh, which I am because it's it's starting to explode actually. I didn't know how many there were. Stitch and Wait come let me know how many there are coming up on a on a search and stuff like that. So if you do have a podcast in Adelaide, please, please, please apply to Stitcher. You know the criteria is fairly simple. However, what you want to do is actually ask your fans to uh, review your podcast and my most of my listeners have done that. That's absolutely fantastic. The way you do that is you apply for Stitcher, they approve it, then you go to www.stitcher.com forward slash podcasts forward slash the name of your podcast, and mine is Liberator X, so it's Liberator dash X. You know, so the whole web address is you know www.stitcher.com forward slash podcasts forward slash liberator dash x and then you scroll down to the bottom you click on the orange button that says write a review you can use an, any sort of nickname alias thing you want and if you get five of those reviews stitcher actually takes it seriously just takes your podcast seriously and then starts to maybe the promote or I can't remember what they said they were going to do but um, I've got three reviews so far so if I could get a few more that would be absolutely fantastic and I know there's people listening to this not at the time of the recording because it's not live this is um, pre-recorded on Saturday night um, look, Gary will Skype me on random hours and make weird lewd comments but he won't be doing that anymore oh, that sort of stuff's banned unless you find it funny and then we'll increase it um yes i've come to the end of my notes i want to thank everybody that's poked me on facebook oh there's a facebook group for this podcast if you didn't know you should be able to find it uh, just by looking up, I'm going to see if I can do it now, live on air. Uh, yes, you should be able to type in DJ space Liberator X, and it will come up with DJ Liberator X, entertainer, 20 people like this. So if you could not only join... Um, just all you got to do is click like on the page. You know, I don't spam the page very often. I know that I've uh, lost a few um, people following. I think but there's 20 people who click like, and I only need 10 more likes to get like insight data and stuff like that. But uh, that's only going to be like it'll just tell me like who who's joined, who's left, um, how many people actually see the posts. That's something that be really interesting if they did that with the rest of Facebook, I think. Um, so how are you going? Um, are you relaxed? Are you mellowed out? Have you had a bit of a laugh? Um, I know I'm umming and ahhing and there's a lot of white noise happening, but I need to fill space. So that's what I'm doing. Um, if you have any song requests, um, let me know if you want to hear anything. If you want me to talk 
about any particular subject, please leave feedback. Feedback is the lifeblood of this podcast. It's the lifeblood of any creator. If you if you are a content creator, you need the feedback because the feedback, even the lack thereof, is it's got a meaning a meaning to it. Um, if someone says, "Oh, this is great. This is fantastic." Then, it's, then you just keep doing whatever. If nobody's saying anything, or people are saying, oh, look, this sucks, then you've got to go back. Rather than being offended, you've got to go, okay, how do I change this? How do I make myself better? How, you know, um, And I've done that with the YouTube stuff, and I've got to go back and look at doing better videos. The, um, the bottleneck has always been the computer. Um, as in processing speed, processing power, um, video cards, that sort of stuff. Um, just and also with YouTube, having somewhere to film. If I had like a basic studio, I'd be right. I think, um, and I think this too as well this podcast that you're listening to would be a lot better if I had somewhere that I could record that was soundproof and um, you know just somewhere where I could sit, record, edit etc etc anyway I do want to thank everyone once again for listening and the Split Pea Coffee Shop for their sponsorship um, it's not financial, it just means that uh, I can get a free cup of coffee. Um, and also, the uh, there's, they've got free peanut butter for the ladies. And all sorts of other goodies. If you're a lady, if you step into the Split Pea Coffee Shop, you will uh, be in for a bit of a treat, I think. And... Um, I think if there are heavy discounts if you rock up wearing a pair of uh, Daisy Dukes as well. Yep. A bit of the old Daisy Duke car washing. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, of course, what a bonehead. Today is Mother's Day. So, happy Mother's Day to everybody out there. If you've given birth to someone or someone's, if you've got grandkids, etc., etc., happy Mother's Day, happy Mother's Day to my mother, happy Mother's Day to your mother, happy Mother's Day to your mother's mother, and so on and so on. How could I forget Mother's Day? Crazy stuff. Absolutely crazy. Oh, I've been watching a TV show called Derek. If you've never heard of it, it's absolutely fantastic. It's um, written by Ricky Gervais, and they're into their second season. And it's about this guy who, um, he's not disabled so, so much. He's just, like, innocent. A um, little bit slow, but um, he's just pure kindness, you know, and he works in a nursing home and stuff like that. So there's all these other weird and wonderful characters that are vulgar and just absolutely awful. And he has to deal with it and the people trying to protect him from that and whatever. Just a really funny cast of characters and people that you actually care about and someone and so forth. But so yeah, Derek is the show that you want to look up. There's, uh, I think it's six episodes per season, so there's only, I think they're up to the third episode in the second season, and it's, it's the funniest thing I've seen so far, so do get on to that, um, yeah, oh, code words, code word, let's see, mint, the code word will be mint, so if, if you've listened to this far, and... You have to understand that I am riddled with self-doubt, so I don't think that, um, you know, there's, it, it can be par- paralyzing sometimes, and that's why I'm doing this, just to 
have a sense of accomplishment um, just to give me something to do every week. Now I've got university work and, and studies that I need to focus on and all that sort of stuff, but if I'm not socializing somehow, I start to internalize issues and things like that when I need to get them out. But I'm not going to do that in the podcast. Um, I just need to be working on something. And this is being monitored, I think, uh, and reviewed by a few people in America. So I'm hoping that um, something comes of it. I mean, it's just me talking at the moment. If I could um, get sponsorships and that sort of stuff, um, that'd be great. Right now, I'm saving up to get another another webcam because I'm not using a microphone, I'm just using a web- webcam at the moment. Um, so that is going to be for improving my YouTube videos and stuff like that. I'm going to use the exact same um, webcam that Tom Cote uses for his um, Google Hangouts and Skype calls and stuff like that. So uh, you'll see a lot higher quality from me in the videos once I've got that paid off. I've got a while to go. This pay, I paid off uh, a lot of bills, so I'm, I've got to, I'm going to cut it fine when it comes, you know, financially and stuff like that. The other thing is that um, I'm a bit scared to ask for funding uh, from listeners and stuff like that. Not everybody has a lot of money. Um, there are different campaigns, Indiegogo, Kickstarter, Patreon. Uh, so if, if you're looking at your own projects, do check out some of those websites. Um, but Patreon is the one where rather than asking for like a whole heap of money up front, like for a project, what you do is you offer something in return, similar to Kickstarter, but it's like a monthly donation so you can start off like minimum amounts of like a dollar obviously but then if you get enough people doing it, you get like an online um, support network thing happening so everybody's chipping in like a couple of bucks and that couple of bucks goes back towards the program you see and it means that it keeps the show free it means that there's less advertising, less harping on, and because uh, I don't know what you guys actually want to hear, but uh, I personally don't like music. Uh, not I, I do like music, but I don't like it when I'm listening to a podcast. I think it's rude. You're there to listen to the material that people have to present, not um, not music, and I just, I'll just skip it. Now, of course, obviously the presenters need a break, but I think if you have a drink and a bit of a something to eat before you start the podcast, you shouldn't have to worry too much. I've had I've done you know thirty minute st- stretches you know talking, so it's not like a, a big thing. Um, if you want longer shows, I will have to ask I'll ask for funding, I guess. But I can pay like at thirty dollars or so and get. Um, 40, like increase the shows to like 45 minutes long, get a bit of storage. But if I pay like a monthly fee, I can actually get like statistics and I can get like pro- pay for like uh, professional voiceovers and uh, intros and, and that sort of thing. But I haven't really been impressed with what's been on offer. So that's why I've asked you guys for help in supplying sound bites and just letting me know that you like that you like listening to the show and um for some reason i don't know what it is um my youtube views are down the listens on the the podcast are down so i'm not sure what's going on there but um i hope that stops and that people actually come back and start listening to my stuff and start watching my videos again I know I've got to do stuff that's a little bit more relevant and entertaining and, and so on and so forth. I've just... It's me, I think. But at the same time... Um, yeah. 
yeah, the, my old favorite YouTubers aren't watching my videos, so I don't know what's going on there. Maybe they've got other things going on in their lives and stuff like that, but um, yeah, I think I might take a bit of a hiatus from YouTube uh, and find out what people really are interested in, what they're going to watch, and so forth. I just need a rethink, I think. I'm not going to kill the channels. I just need to maybe reassess. Also, I want to thank everybody that um, tuned in. Oh, no, that promised, you know, to do interviews and stuff like that. Um, please, ho I hope that that was not lip service. Um, because I haven't heard back from anybody yet. Now there's a whole heap of excuses. Oh, I'll have to ask my boyfriend, and oh, I've got to go shopping, and I've got to do this, and I've got to do that. But um, yeah. anyway, I'm running out of disk space, so that means one thing: I've got to go. So I hope everybody's had a great Sunday. Um, please enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Take it easy, like a Sunday morn. And I will catch up with you next week. Thank you for listening. And bye for now. Look after yourself.